All right, so here we are. This is our free range chicken mobile that we built ourselves. Um, there's one of our daughters. Um, we've just moved them. You can see just, the, just over there. That's where they've come from. So they've spent a week there. There's a um, hundred of them. They've spent a week there. And now they've moved into this new paddock here. Uh, I'll let them out. So we just lock them up the night before. They know the system, and they all start bailing out. <clears throat> and I'll show you in a second the little door that they're coming through, because that's pretty special to the, uh, the setup. They've got uh, water on the outside. There's water there. They've got this water line coming in there with a tap on it. I'll walk you around. I'll just show you inside. Here are all the girls. So, so we're getting ready to run outside. So they've got their roosts in there. And then I'll walk you around over here and show you. This is their feed hopper. And we fit three and a half, four bags in there. Which is good every time you move them. And then We've got our little egg set up here, near all the day's eggs. It's all very simple, just cardboard and a bit of canvas. We've just set up this uh, drip system, so they've got these little nipples down here. And the chicken walks along and puts its mouth on the nipple and the water comes out. Um, but that has to can't be fed via... Uh, town pressure or even farm pressure so it's got a little um, cistern here with a float built into the bucket goes in the top comes out the bottom over it goes also got that sprinkler there just in case it gets really hot during the day we can run the sprinkler on the roof to keep them cool we've got the netting around the outside and we like the electric netting keeps the foxes away and we like to set it out in a grid and we use this white bit of rope on each corner with the white stake so if you've got it strained you get a nice high side to the fence if you don't strain it you won't get a high side to it uh, you know, the kids are having fun a little dust bath for them it just minimizes the amount of damage they do to the bit of grass you can see that chook they're having a good time scratching around um, but they do like to dig dust baths uh, we've got a hopper outside for feed, <clears throat> just so they've got a bit more uh, reliable feed. And <clears throat> I'll just show you inside. So, this, uh, you watch this girl here. Watch this girl here. She negotiates around what we've just created this bit of a fox run so she's got to go backwards and forwards same with this girl backwards and forwards in order for her to get through so I hope the theory is anatomically that the fox wouldn't be able to make it in there and there you, go, you can see them just squeezing their way through through. Happy chooks.